child support was enough for your boy M-A-B-W to know that I would never get married. You could fool me once. You ain't going to fool me twice. The state ain't about to get me for spousal support and give it to her. Y'all stay tuned. Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Today's video, ladies, let me tell you something right now, okay? Because a lot of you women out there, you like to try to come down hard on men who talk about why men shouldn't get married and why men pretty much are corny if they don't get married. You ladies will say anything. And your boy M-A-B-W means anything. I say this, I said this before and I'm going to say it again. Ladies, marriage doesn't benefit men. Ladies, if marriage benefits men, go in the comment section and tell me what benefit marriage brings to men. I'll wait. I'm going to give y'all a quick second. Y'all like to go in here, talk all this, y'all like to throw all this shade, talk all this crap. But I've never had one lady yet come in the comment section and write me or not write me or tell me how marriage benefits men. Now, I could tell you how marriage benefits you and divorce benefits you benefits you. You know that when you come into a marriage already that you've won. Marriage is your day. A wedding, that's your day. You're the one that's getting all the glitz and glam out of marriage. You're the one that's getting all the glitz and glam from marriage. Once you know that you're married to that man of yours, you know that you have him in cuffs automatically. Now, divorce benefits you women too. Why do you say that, MABW? I'm pretty sure you women know why. And don't come into the comment section talking about, well, it's a lot of women that pay child support and spousal support too. Stop giving me the same five names y'all always give me. You women always come into the comment section and give me the same five, four or five names. For every one woman that one woman that pays spousal support is probably a hundred to a thousand men that pay spousal support. So you women can miss me with all this bull crap. We pay spousal support too. We pay child support too. It's rare. Men get slaughtered in court. The states are for women. That's why they give y'all all the benefits that they give to you women. As far as not letting a man be in the household if you're getting some type of assistance. Taking a man to the child support system or at least them helping you bring that man to the uh, family court system if you are receiving benefits. Guys, half these women that are receiving benefits low key, they're really broke. And they put on this facade. I tell you men this all the time. A lot of times that these women have to take you to court, it's because they have to get benefits from the state. It may not always be like that, but sometimes it's like that. And that's why I sit up here and say that the state, the government per se, and women, they work hand in hand with each other. Women in general do men more... Women in general do men wrong more than cops. They do men wrong more than cops, believe it or not, because they don't care about anything else except the mighty dollar. When you really think about it, think of all the things that they'll do to you if you're in the rears and you owe that lady child support. The, the, the government, per se, will put you in jail. They'll take your license away from you. They'll take your passport away from you. There's all these restrictions that happen to men all the time. And the sad part is a lot of these women don't even care. A lot of these women don't even care. You could be, yo, shout out to my men out there, man, because, you know, it's hard. It's some hardworking fathers out there. It's some hardworking fathers out there. And I feel your pain because I know that you possibly could be struggling. You could be on your last 
and that and you're taking care of your your children and you love your children, but that lady for some god given reason she's hell bent on keeping you on child support. She's hell bent on it, and she knows that you're doing what you have to do. She knows you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're a good dad. You won't leave your kids behind. But she's hell bent on keeping you on child support for no reason. It's too many good fathers out there that go through this struggle all the freaking time. All the time. And these women, they won't even prosper in life because they want to keep their government assistance and they want to keep you on child support. And you know what the funny thing is, guys? I've seen this before. Once your children get of age where they can emancipate themselves or their adults, those baby mothers want to be cool with you. Have any of you men out there been through that? Once your children are about 18, 19, 20, they can emancipate themselves, their adult, their young adults. The baby mothers, like they want to talk to you and be cool with you. But it's like, yo, you, we're, we're enemies technically. You extorted me for 18 years legally and you extorted me knowing, knowing I took care of my children. You extorted me knowing I took care of my children. And let me tell you idiotic women something out there, okay? And remember, what I state, it doesn't apply to all women, but to the women it do apply to, take it with a grain of salt, okay? You want to know why so many men, especially men that have children and have been through the family court system, do y'all really understand why us type of men don't want to get married? Some of you women really don't understand why us men state to other men don't get married. Because we've been dragged through the mud in family court already. So why would we want to be dragged through the mud in a marital court? Why would, we, why would men want to be dragged through the mud twice? You can fool me once. You can't fool me twice. If I have witnessed and been a part of what's going on in the family court system today, why would a person like MABW want to get married? I would be a plum damn fool to get married. A plum damn fool. The state is making me pay this lady child support knowing that I take care of my children. Why would I want to risk the state taking away my money if this lady divorces me? And these women sitting up here acting like we're, we're, we're the imbeciles. We're, actually, us men are smart. Any man that isn't getting married right now, especially, especially this day and age, you're the smart one. Because you know what can happen. You know what can happen. The men out there that have been through the family court system, they know what's going on. And they know what can happen. So why would men want to take shorts? It's, it's no point. It's no point in putting a ring on your finger so you can wake up one day, five or 10 years later, and divorce me. And let me let, let, let me come correct with you when, when I talk about this. And you simps out there. I find it funny because even some of y'all right now, some of y'all sit up here and come in the comment section, right? And you talk about men. And you talk about how men, especially men like me or men that have channels like me, these women, these men up here be talking about not getting married like they have something to take. Men, you have a lot that can be taken, okay? Don't listen to these simps and these feminist type women talking this bull crap. I told men already, arguing with a fool isn't going to make you smarter. So why even bother? We know why we don't want to get married and we're not going to be a fool to try to prove anything to anybody. You, I'm damn sure not going to be a fool. You're not going to hear about MABW getting married one day and then coming back on the internet crying like, man, I thought she was the one. I tried it, MABW team. I tried it. I thought she loved me. I thought she was the one. I thought she would never do what she did to me. I'm not going to be that fool. And a lot of men out there, they aren't being fooled anymore. And you women, y'all literally can't stand it. It boils you women to, to the core. It, boil, it boils y'all blood to the core. To the core. That men don't want to get married anymore. Like we haven't seen enough. Me, personally, I'll learn from another man's mistake. As far as when it comes to marriage, I'll sit there and watch that man 
and I'll learn from his mistake. I've seen enough men get dragged through the mud, especially married men. I've seen enough, whether it be what I've seen on the internet, my own family, some of my homeboys, I've seen it. I've seen enough to know I don't want to be that idiot. I don't want to be that man talking to my, my homeboy or leaning on my boy's shoulder like, man, she got me for everything, man. I'm about to lose my house. I'm, nah, you ain't taking my house from me. You ain't taking half my assets. And yes, your boy MABW has assets. These women sit up here and they say whatever they want to do in these sips to try to shame you. They get up here talking about stuff like they got something. We got stuff, but we don't got to prove it to you. Who are you? Who are you? We don't, men, let me tell you something right now. You don't ever have to prove a point to anybody out here. If they want to think, if they want to make it seem like, or if they, if they want to think you're broke, be broke. If they want to think you're rich, let them think you're rich. Let them think whatever they want to think about you. You know what you got. Men, you don't have a point to prove to anybody. Once you become successful in life, men, you don't have a point to prove to nobody. Especially no internet trolls. Trust me. Trust me. I already, I already told the MABW team. Y'all see how I come out here. I don't care. I can come out here with a crispy. I come out here with my crispy cut. But I show y'all the real me too. I come out here on no cut day every day. I'm I'm the I'm I'm one of the realest YouTubers on YouTube right now. Cause I don't sit up there and gotta put on a facade for anybody. I don't put on a facade for anybody. I'm just the I'm the same old me that I've been for the past two and a half years on YouTube. Same old MABW. I ain't never changed. I ain't never changed. What you see is what you get. I'm human, I make mistakes. All of us do. But at the end of the day, men, you know the motto. It's not worth it's not worth being married this day and age. Marriage doesn't benefit you. It only benefits the woman. And I'm gonna keep preaching this until the day the casket drops. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'ma holler back at y'all later. Peace.